Barranquitas and San Luis and two impoverished communities in the Zulia state, in the western part of Venezuela. San Luis is closest to the state capital city of Maracaibo, only 25 minutes away by car. However, the conditions in the township make it seem as if it is a place of difficult access. Hundreds of children play on the dirty streets, meters away from black waters due to the lack of septic systems, while some other parents work nearby. The town people used to live from fishing in the surrounding Lake Maracaibo. However, due to the pollution from the oil fields in the lake, it is harder and harder to find fish and proper employment. This has contributed to the appearance of crime and drug dealing. A group of young physicians called Primeros Auxilios Luz, together with Factor H support, local non-profit associations have taken on the task of providing medical assistance to this community their first priority treating the many patients affected with Huntington's disease. Rosmairi Bozo is a recent medical graduate from the University of Zulia. She started working for the NGO in 2017, helping to care for people injured during the many street protests against the government. Como médico uno se siente de manos atadas, te intentas colocar en el lugar del paciente, como que bueno, ¿qué, qué podrías hacer tú en esta situación? ¿Cómo ayudarlo? En estas situaciones en las que de verdad necesitas, por ejemplo, una resonancia y el paciente no tiene, ¿cómo pagarla? Pues tú dices, Dios mío, ¿cómo hago ahora? Barranquitas is a ghost town, not because of the lack of inhabitants, but because few people know of his existence. Four hours away from the center of Maracaibo, the conditions in Barranquitas are appalling and continue to deteriorate. Frequent sites include solid waste and stagnant black waters near the many dwellings, many built with zinc. Here, several nonprofit institutions try to help the community and the hundreds of HD patients that roam the streets of this shanty town. There is a lot of work to do and the current resources are not enough to help everybody in this large community. The hundreds of young children, just like their parents, roam the streets among the trash. A great many of them are at risk for Huntington's disease. Most are malnourished and many risk dying of malnutrition. Early pregnancies are common as are preventable diseases due to the unhealthiness and lack of any community infrastructure, such as septic tanks or fresh water. Roger is a physician scientist from Colombia who lives in Los Angeles, California, where he conducts research to find treatments for Huntington's disease. The disease in Barranquitas is known as Mal de Zambito. Roger is also the vice president of a non-profit organization called Factor H. In December 2018, he visited Venezuela to know firsthand about the daily struggles of people living in the largest cluster of Huntington's patients in the world. In Barranquitas, a population relatively pequeña at the orillas del lago Maracaibo, de una actividad económica bastante centrada en la pesca. Realmente que la situación económica no es la mejor, que la, la, las familias de verdad se ven afectadas en una proporción muchísimo más grande por la situación de salud de sus familiares. Las viviendas son subóptimas en muchísimos aspectos. Las viviendas son en la mayoría de los casos eh, eh, paredes mal cuidadas, eh, afectadas por la humedad afectadas por eh, ventanas que no existen o que no establecen realmente un ambiente muy distinto del que existe eh, eh, en, el, en el ambiente exterior. Algunas de esas viviendas son incluso hechas de latón, de tejas, de zinc, que actúan como paredes y que se sostienen por algunos maderos, um, que aíslan muy mal del calor que la zona vive y que es bastante intenso. Uh, es también un, un ambiente bastante húmedo que promueve perfectamente eh, eh, la colonización de las paredes por hongos, por eh, impurezas, etcétera, que puedan afectar muy, muy fácilmente la vida no solamente de los, de los adultos, sino de los chiquillos. Estoy sentado sobre una acera eh, que queda 
inmediatamente al lado del desagüe de aguas negras de todas las casas. Este, por ejemplo, es el desagüe de la casa que queda enfrente. Eh, al principio, cuando, cuando yo vi esto, creí que era la colección de aguas lluvias, pero no. Los, los alcantarillados de las casas desaguan en este mismo sistema. Bah, sistema. In spite of the current situation, there is a ray of hope that shines light in the dark landscape of both towns. Recently, local associations have become organized to tend to the many problems of their communities by establishing collaborative alliances with international organizations such as Factor H. In spite of the slow pace of change, there is hope for a better life for these neglected and abandoned communities.